Welcome to this channel. So yesterday I have shared a video on the breathing development of Wing Chun or Kung Fu. Uh, I have shared why it is so important to uh, develop the breathing and also uh, the different state of uh, developing the breathing. Also, we can validate today with our scientific devices or in today's uh, medicines, Western medicines. So, I have received uh, questions from our Wing Chun friends asking me to share, to illustrate in real life how is this thing looks like. So today I'm going to share with you so that everyone after watching this video know what is going on. And so one know, do one have that type of Kung Fu training or not? Now, Today I'm going to share with you using the very simple stuff or very basic stuff, namely the EG Kamyongma of Wing Chun and the Xiu Lim Tao. So that you can see that how is this breathing element is within the Xiu Lim Tao and the or the uh, Iji Kamyongma. Okay. First thing, what today I'm going to share with you is the true internal of Chinese Kung Fu. It is very different compared with today's term internal. Today's internal is very internal art or Taiji influence. Where the internal art, we really don't know is it real internal or not. It's just a marketing term in past 100 years or so. And that thing get uh, import into Wing Chun and that's why you create all kind of mess of the internal Wing Chun or whatever internal which now all those internal cannot link up to the real fighting it cannot provide the support for the fighting. The reality is for the past four years, whoever from internal style, from be it Tai Chi or Wing Chun and so forth, cannot handle what Xi si Xiaodong is play in a really basic way. So today, I'm likely to share with you what is the reality? Only this type of real internal <coughs> can face this outdoor because it can be verified, validated by science. Okay. Now, I like to clarify one thing: bad mounting and solving a problem is two different things. I'm here saying that today's internal is something else. I'm not bad mouthing it. I just point out the problem and I provide you a solution which is coming. So you see that this is so many things that it is not you stand in the position, mimic the posture, uh, following what the guru say or the grandmaster say. 
and then uh, you practice long enough, you'll know it. No, you don't. You need the technology. Even if you go to see, to watch our friends in MMA or Western boxing, they don't do that. Okay. So within the three days ago, when I said reform Wing Chun in the West, or reform Kung Fu in the West, we need to start fresh, start based on the real evidence and science. No longer we want to do whatever now in Asia have, because you know it doesn't work. Face it, up to now, after four years, no one single grandmaster can face Xi Xiaodong and say what is going on. Everybody is in silence. So, we don't want that. Okay? As what again I said the other day, I'm American. This is the Western world. I don't want anything to do with Asia. But, we need to clarify this. We are not against anybody. We just don't follow whatever it is not following the ancient Chinese and not following the signs. So whatever they want to do, they can do whatever they want to do. Okay? But here, for those who really want to develop skill of Wing Chun or Kung Fu, this is the bottom line. Okay? Now, let's start one thing. Martial art is about fighting. <clears throat> you like it or not, martial art is about fighting. If you cannot fight, then there's no martial arts. Martial art is not a religion. Okay? So the bottom line of fighting is playing momentum. And as in the, uh, the, the, the K criteria I have shared in this channel, using General Chi Chi Kuang, you have to play with momentum. That is the bottom line. Bottom lines since 460 years ago and is applied today. Okay? Now, if we look at that K model, that is a functional training there. So if we pull out the General Chi Chi Kuang's functional training or the Shaolin functional training, like a I purposely wrote this book in the West. That is about role of breathing. Breathing is really important. If you don't breathe, you can play with momentum. The, the bottom line is that you never train that you cannot play with momentum. Look at today's in Olympic. Training in MMA, people use the different scientific gadget to improve their stamina. What is that? Improve their endurance. Breathing. If your breathing is hitting the limitation, your body will not work. So everybody want to improve the VO2 max, and so forth, so forth. Okay. Like in the yesterday, you can watch in my uh, video. Now, so let's get into the Yiji Kamiyama and the Shulim Tao so you know exactly what's going on. If you don't have this training in your Shulim Tao or Yiji Kamiyama, forget about it. You are not doing martial arts. Not what I'm saying. Per Chi Chi Guang Shaolin Short Strike and 1850s Wing Chun Riding. Okay, it's evidence and science. Now, about two months ago in May, uh, March 16, I share a video on what, why, how of Wing Chun 1850s power from ground and rooting. Experience it within one minute. I share one video like that. So at that video, I share about the EG Kamyong Ma because when you want to do Xiu Lim Tao, the most basic thing in the Wing Chun, you need to have a proper EG Kamyong Ma. In that video, I share that 
you need to have a proper mechanics, uh, the proper usage of your muscle, so that you can handle the power, meaning that you can handle the momentum, and uh, you can do a vertical jump to test it whether that you your body your body mechanic be able to handle that power, uh, the, the force, the momentum or not. So that's the mechanical side. Okay, the momentum handle side. Now, to drive this power, sure, this is the body, all this thing. You can have that strong and so forth. But you still need the support of the breathing. Like uh, in the Kung Fu 1560, Chi Chi Kuang is doing that with his, uh, with his uh, army training. Shaolin is doing that. Well, 460 years ago, and today's MMA or Olympic, they do the same thing. But all this so-called internal, internal arts stuff today is doing something else, which is not a court to the Chinese 460 years ago, not a court to the Westerner in Olympic and MMA today. It is something else. So we need to address this. Okay? And that's why we need to address the breathing. You have your muscle and, and the, uh, the, 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 the power training and you can uh, do vertical jump as in my video previously. But if you cannot breathe, you don't have stamina, you don't have endurance, you cannot play. So there's, there's two sides. Take your EG Kamyong Ma. You have the train so that your body mechanics be able to handle the strength, the momentum, and so forth. That's one thing. Another side is, or the second thing is you need to have the breathing. Without that, it won't work. So your momentum and your breathing or endurance or stamina is like the two wings of a bird. You don't have it, you cannot fly. Now you look at today's internal, they never mention this, the power, dynamic momentum, they never mention breathing, and they go into the chi, mind power, all the structure power, whatever. How are you going to solve this problem? Well, if you look at Xu Xiaodong, see that's true or not. It is momentum and the breathing. So simple stuff, which apply 460 years ago, apply today. So that's why, again, we need to get into Okay, now, so your Xiu Lin Tao is the basic of your Wing Chun. It is a functional training. The bottom line, the most basic of the Xiu Lin Tao is your EG Kam Yong Ma. So in my previous video, I share on you how the power from the ground, all this mechanic using which part of the, uh, the, the, the muscle you need to train that so that you have the strength to handle the momentum and so forth, so forth, so forth. Now today we're going to talk about the, the breathing. Now, in breathing, we need to be able to handle the muscle at front here, which is supporting the breathing, the back muscle, which is supporting the breathing, and the diaphragm. Three things. And in the breathing, the three things, it boils down to affect two things. Your lung capacity, your respiratory strength. Okay? Your respiratory strength. I'm using the proper words. Let me check. Okay? Yes, respiratory strength. Okay. So define lung capacity means how much capacity your lung have to get your in to, to, to get your oxygen in. Okay. 
The second thing is how fast you can have the respiratory strength like the quick charge boom in. So it's very simple. It's for example using swimming. You take if you have a big uh, lung capacity, you can do many strokes. And then you do a inhale, quick charge, get in. How fast you can charge, fully charge the thing. So you need the uh, lung capacity develop and the uh, respiratory strength develop. Oh. In Wing Chun, in EG Kamyama, on top of the power from the ground and all this mechanic which is handling the momentum and recycling momentum which I have talked in this channel and in that power from ground video. In parallel, you need to develop that lung capacity and your respiratory strength. And of course, with that, you need to develop your muscle for breathing, the, for the front side of the body, the back side of the body, and your diaphragm. So how did we uh, develop that? Well, that is the Xing Qi to Tan Tian. When people talk about Xing Qi to Tan Tian, what it means is that you have a good handling on your lung capacity, meaning you'd be able to breathe deep. And then you have a good handling on the uh, respiratory strength. Not necessary that you have a really, uh, really strong uh, respiratory strength where you can quick charge. Not necessary, but at least you be able to develop your uh, uh, lung capacity, which is low abs breathing, and you have the handling of the respiratory uh, strength. So I have been for years telling people that that is the Xing Chi Du Tan Tian. That's what you need. Okay. So now today you know scientifically what does it mean. Okay. So in the Yi Kamyong Ma, how do you develop that? Well, that is I show to the whole world in Wing Chun Matrix. That is the 2C state. You, you, you stand in the 2C state. You get into the natural low apps. Breathing. Okay. The reason why when you inhale, you go forward. When you exhale, you go backward. Once you be able to do that, the 2C state, when your body is loosened up, is because, remember, the front muscle, the back muscle, and the uh, diaphragm, they are moving when you inhale, exhale. So that's why your body, if you leave it alone, you have a little bit sway back and forth. That is the development of the to 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 uh, to, to to how do you say that to improve your uh, lung capacity and your the uh, respiratory strength training. You do it in the natural way, the two C. Okay. It using this muscle, using this muscle, the back muscle, using your diaphragm. Okay. So anybody who have the two C state, they know that their breathing change forever because they they actually uh, improve their lung capacity and the handling or the uh, the what do you call it the handling of the uh, respiratory strength. They have a uh, basic handling on that already. So again, you cannot do this. You cannot do this. You have to do the 2C. Why? Your human body. 
Okay, now scientifically we can prove to that. Go go read or research in all those breeding uh, signs today. The prehab, the uh, clinical practice of helping people with asthma and so forth, all this stuff. Okay, now, so you need to develop the 2C state, like in the H model. Okay, in the 2C state, there are two paths to go. One path to go is going down to the deep recovery where your breathing reputation get less and less where you get into meditative state that is the place where you develop chi chi handling is developed in the pulse between exhale and inhale. Okay. That's where it is. So if you practice the uh, Buddha's Anapanasati, that is where it is. So from 2C, you get into the deep recovery or the nurture chi, and then you get lower, uh, deeper, and deeper, and deeper. There you get into that. That is the samadhi place. Okay, so the meditative, you go one side, and of course you can test it out with your heart rate variability. Your heart rate going down, your heart rate variability going up. Okay, so there's the chi, there's for the meditative, for the uh, samadhi, for the uh, health, because deep recovery and so forth. From the 2C, you go up, you go into aerobic and anaerobic. That's where you need it for the fighting. Okay. Now, you have this handling, natural handling of your uh, lung capacity development and your, uh, your, your, your respiratory strength with the 2C. That's the basic. And then in Xiu Lim Tao, Guess what? In Xiu Lim Tao, there is something called open, close, rising, sinking. Open, close, rising, sinking. Open, close, rising, sinking. What is that for? That is for training enhance your lung capacity development and your respiratory strength okay the open close rising sinking and because of you do this you'll be able to do do what you'll be able to say strike five times before you take a breath, remember like the, 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 the swimming, you stroke, and then you take a sharp breath, uh, inhale, you go. There's your stamina, there's your endurance, there's what it means in the uh, Kung Fu 1560. You need to have that for your training. Okay? Now, another thing is anti impact. Or impact resistance. What is impact resistance? Take punch. That is with your breathing. That's in Shulim Tao. Both the Meditative or deep recovery, and the which is the nurture chi practice. And the breathing, the open, close.
is in Wing Chun Inception. So for fighting, you need that. Open, close, rising, sinking to develop your further develop your lung capacity and your uh, respiratory strength. And of course, in the ancient Chinese, like the Wing Chun and the proper internal art, you always need to have the two C going down to the nerve chi before you come up. Why? Because if you don't know the two C and you go right away to the open, close, rising, sinking, you're brute forcing this thing. Whatever you brute force, you get into trouble. And some people, like for example, you have a heart problem, you have a kidney problem, you have high blood pressure, you must not do that. You, you are screwing around with your body. Help. Cause many problems. Or the Chinese call internal injury. So that's why the ancient one get into the 2C, one get it or get into the uh, the, the nerve chi right away. It's even better to get to the nerve chi first and work out. Okay, normally it's two C nerve chi and work outward to the strengthen uh, to the uh, to the to the uh, respiratory strength. It's like quick charge, quick charge stuff, or quick exhale stuff. And uh, somebody who body is weak or older, they might not want to get into this quick charge and the, uh, the, 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 the keeping enlarging their lung capacity because uh, people is bound by or uh, limited by their age and their health conditions. Not everybody can do that. Like in the swimming. Okay. So that is what it is. And so today, with that mouthpiece I shared with you the other day, if you look at that lung capacity, your uh, breathing strength or respiratory strength here, So, right, go closer probably. Your capacity, your lung capacity, your inhale strength, your exhale strength. We can measure it. You want to do martial art? How strong you can you handle it? I mean, there's your endurance. What is your lung capacity and so forth? And uh, the modern breathing, handling, or uh, uh, training have the uh, modern clinical proven way. And so, today we can compare notes from the ancient and the modern, and then uh, using the, 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 the tools to measure. What we know today is the ancient, like the Chinese, that the Wing Chun. Is very good in the two uh, C and going down to the to the nerve uh, chi, and then you can link to the anapanasati where your breathing get really really uh, slow. Okay, where that really you create you you develop chi in your body. Those advanced stuff. Okay, nerve chi we do today is very basic beginning stuff. You now, like in the Wing Chun Inception, the nerve chi is it's very basic beginning stuff so that it provides deep recovery. That thing can go deep, deep, deep. Okay, and of course, there's a different topic because there's meditations, there's all kinds of the Qigong stuff. And on top of this, right now, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fighting, the uh, rising, sinking, open, Close. Those are for this thing, so they be able to 
strike five, six times, and then take a quick charge. You know you're going to deal with anaerobic there. Okay. It's a, a full accelerated momentum handling. And uh, also you are dealing with a taking impact. Because when you, when you strike, you're going to take strike. And the strike might come unexpected. Right away, you have to quick charge out while you're tensing your body. This is the reality of fighting. This is martial arts. Today, 2021 or 460 years ago, same thing because this human being never changed. Or at least it never evolved too far away. Human is human. Okay? So this is what I'd like to share with you. A proper develop of a Wing Chun Xiu Lim Tao. Be it the first section, no, which is the first part of the 1850 uh, Xiu Lim Tao set, because the first part of Xiu Lim Tao set is functional training equivalent to today's so-called Xiu Lim Tao. And you have part 2, part 3, part 4, which is the different stuff, okay, uh, which is uh, in the same uh, arrangement that uh, like your Cham Kyu Piu Ji is application stuff and all this momentum handling stuff, okay. So in the Xiu Lim Tao, you need to at least get the 2C. And then be able to do deep recovery, be able to do the open, close, rising, sinking to further improve your, 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 your breathing strength and, and, and lung capacity so that you can play better in the, in the uh, momentum game. So you can handle your uh, anaerobic if you get in better. Because anaerobic, you have the oxygen depth. You have to pay the depth. And in the, in the aerobic, even at the high aerobic, you generate oxygen. You need to be able to, to, to get it out. And then you need also in, in aerobic, you need, when you want energy, you have to have a glucose and your oxygen. You need to have oxygen. So the Xiu Lim Tao, if it, if it does not give you this, what are you doing? So I'm 60 something today. I'm diabetic one. I'm no longer trained those taking the impact stuff or strengthening my uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the respiratory strength because that's not my my life anymore. It is more into the 2C, warm up the respiratory uh, strength handling and then uh, the capacity and go to the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the nurture chi meditative way. That, that is where I go. But it is within that. Okay. So this is the reality. And yesterday, somebody leave a message saying that, well, nobody care. <coughs> well, I'm here providing proper information. Who care? Who don't care? Everybody have their freedom. But who really want to develop Chinese Kung Fu or Wing Chun, you cannot get away from this. Signs, evidence, history, look around. This is the way how human works. So this is what I'd like to share with you today. <clears throat>